it's here, the collection that I've been waiting for, a rainbow of the crushed holographic polishes. These arrived super quickly, I did purchase them myself, I don't receive PR from Holo Taco, so let's see what I thought about the collection. So this is called the Rock Candy Collection and it's a collection of seven crushed holographic polishes each with a micro shimmer glow. The first one is called Electric Sweetener and it is described as being a magenta purple with a blue micro shimmer. And for me the shimmer in this one was a little bit underwhelming, I was hoping it would be a little bit more obvious. Um, you can just about see it at the extreme angles of the bottle there, but I would have liked it to have been a little bit stronger. So here it is applied. For these particular polishes I've decided to include my swatches in real time just to show you how easy these are to apply with that lovely medium width rounded brush that fits beautifully into the cuticles but also thin enough that it fits down the side wall. Um, so here it is in two coats and for me that was opaque but my nails are quite short at the moment. The next one is called Pop Rocker and this is a bubblegum pink with iridescent indigo shimmer. I did like this one, I don't normally like this type of colour um, but the shimmer just lifts it and I love the crushed hollow formula anyway. Um, so yeah this one surprised me and I did like it. And as with the last one it's super easy to apply. These polishes are also quite easy to remove and they're not like glitters, they come off just as easily as a normal creme polish does. So again with my short nails at the moment, this one was opaque in two coats. Next up we have Jam Session. And this one is described as a red coral shade with a flashy magenta micro shimmer. The shift in this one is beautiful. I was really surprised at how much I love this polish and you get quite an orange glow out of it as well as the magenta and it was the first one that I chose to do a full manicure with. Formula, just the same as the others, goes on super easy. And this is what it looked like in two coats with a top coat. The next one is the warm yellow of the collection and it is described as being a yellow with a pop of orange pink shimmer so maybe that's where the orange comes from but actually the pink shows up really well. I don't normally wear yellow nail polish, it doesn't go well with my skin tone and I'm kind of hoping that maybe, just maybe, when I get a little bit of a tan in the summer that I'll be able to get away with wearing this one because it is a stunningly beautiful polish, it's just difficult with my pink undertones in my skin um, and I'm hoping that that pop of pink shimmer might just make it a little bit easier for me to wear it. Same formula as before, lovely easy application and fingers crossed that I'll be able to wear this one at some point. Next we have the green of the collection and it's called Sour Note and this one is described as being an apple shade of green with a pink to yellow shimmer. And I am not normally a lover of green polish but the pink shimmer in this one was beautiful and it does really stand out um, on the nails so I was happy with this one um, and even though I'm not normally a green wearer I'm sure I'm going to be wearing this at some point soon and I think I'm going to put this one onto my summer nail polish rack. Formula as before, nice and easy and opaque in just the two coats.
Next is Blue Rizzler, and I was pretty sure I was going to like this one. I love blue and I love purple. So combine a blueberry violet nail polish with a pink to magenta shimmer and you've got a winner for me. And the shimmer on this one does stand out nicely as well. The formula, as before, is amazing and I'm really looking forward to wearing this one. This one's definitely going onto my summer nail polish rack and I'm going to be wearing it soon. Last and for me unfortunately least we have Sugar Rush and this one is described as a white with a burst of yellow to orange shimmer. You know I'm not fond of yellow shimmers and for me this entire polish um, was a bit of a miss. It doesn't suit my skin tone. Um, this one was not quite opaque in two coats, it probably could do with three, uh, even on my short nails. I just didn't enjoy it and if I'd been buying these polishes separately I wouldn't have bought this um, but I did buy the entire collection and because I've got the collector's box I will be keeping this polish but I doubt I'll be wearing it very often. So that's all of the new polishes from Holo Taco. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of them. I have two favourites, the blue and the coral shade and uh, that white one which I think was a bit of a miss. I wish they had put a really bright orange in instead. Thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!